Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning Dynamite Service with explosive results. So we did a uh, deck restoration project and what we used was the sodium metasilic um, followed by oxalic. So wood is naturally acidic and um, if you're using sodium hypochlorite, you're bringing it down to a basic pH. Uh, you're also uh, uh, killing the lignans. You're actually uh, uh, breaking a bond um, in the wood cells. So there's already dead wood cells. Uh, our job is to remove those and not leave the boards furry. A caustic chem like SH can safely be used if it's diluted down, uh, but it just further helps age split, crack, furring, um, and break down that bond, those lignans. So we want to use either percarbonate, sodium percarbonate, or sodium metasilic, and at the very last, uh, you know, sodium hydroxide, which is more of a heavy stripper. So uh, metasilic works really, really good, and what it does is it brings out the natural tannins in woods. So unlike when you're finished with a job and you see a bleached out wood look, um, you, what you're gonna see is a natural wood look. You're gonna see the fibers and the grains. This does require some scrubbing, uh, it requires you to mix the solution right, but I want you to see what the end result is. Now, it just rained here, so you're going to see a, a kind of a variation. So you're going to see sort of wet wood over here. You're going to see dry wood over here, but you can really see, um, you know, this is starting to dry here. Um, and even though this has a lot of age on it and is cracked, you don't see any furring whatsoever. Nice and smooth boards all the way around. Um, you see what that looks like? So, um, so it looks really, really good. Um, and you can just see, you know, what the, what the deck looks like. Uh, it looks beautiful. You know, it looks almost like there's a stain on here. Um, now it is all obviously drying after the rains this morning. Um, we have some drip over here that's going to add to uh, our problem with, with uh, things aging and that type of thing. But um, one of the nice things about following up with the uh, um, uh, neutralizing the pH with oxalic acid is it also makes all of the hardware. So if you had any rusty hardware, uh, it now looks absolutely brand new and beautiful. Um, so I just wanted you to kind of see what that looks like. This is the finished results of using the metasilic. Um, and then following it up uh, to, uh, you know, balance that pH. Um, so once again, boards are naturally acidic um, and you don't want to bring them down to a basic level and leave them. You'll dry them out, age them, and that's the, the sodium hypochlorite. So we have used it for years. We still do use it for absolutely everything. Um, it's a great product. It really brightens things. Uh, in other words, I use sodium metasilic to try to uh, sort of clean this fence up because I didn't want to walk back and get my SH, but I went and back and got my SH and you can see the lattices, you know, looks brand new. And that's because I used, uh, so sodium hypochlorite certainly has a, a reason but not in wood restoration um, the metasilic just makes this wood look brand new now this is a Brazilian hardwood um, so uh, you know this this wood is is very hard and you don't want to run I didn't want to run a pressure cleaner on here because even if you're doing a sweeping motion where you're where you're um, let's see if I can capture this where you're coming up um, you don't want any stop start marks you don't want uh, to fur the wood um, you know, uh, you want to make this wood look absolutely beautiful and brand new. And that's sort of what we have done here today, as you guys can see. So uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Keep cleaning out there. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. I'm about to do two more decks and you'll see what those look like. I also did some stairs. Now I'll show you guys really quickly in this video. I had to walk all the way around here. There's absolutely no access over here whatsoever. Uh, we've got, you know, hammocks in through here. The ocean is right there. Uh, so I literally had to take this walk. <clears throat> and bring everything back here. So I brought my oxalic back here, brought my SH back here, brought my metasilic back here, brought a mixing bucket, deck scrub brush, um, and uh, had to drop a hose off the second story balcony. I literally, because there's no spigot back here, so I had to drop a hose from the second story balcony just so that I could have pressure. Now on the hose, make sure that you have something that has a jet on it, something that has a mister on it. That way you keep that wood wet while you're working. Really, really important. Um, do not let that metasilicate dry uh, on those boards. Um, and your end result is absolutely beautiful. Parking is limited here. As you guys can see, there's my rig. You know what I mean? Um, and I barely am giving these people enough room to get by. But uh, so these are basically the things that you're gonna need. Um, it lets you guys see metasilicate, oxalic, measuring cup, good gloves, good hose, stir stick, deck brush, couple of pump ups, warm water, mix your stuff in warm water. Uh, 
There's the jet sprayer on there, just a standard handheld with different types and another type of brush to get under those railings and to take care of that banister. Now check this out. Um, this is pressure treated wood. Um, and that's what that looks like. Really beautiful. Now someone did pressure clean this so you can see some splitting on here. I did not pressure clean this. Um, and then we've got this uh, Brazilian hardwood. Now see, that would look terrible if it was bleached out. You know, if you, if you used a, a bleach product on here. Look at those stairs. Are those beautiful or what? So you can just really see how it brings out those rich, rich tones um, and makes everything look fantastic. Now I did use SH on all of these rails in through here to make that bright, white, and beautiful. This was full of mold and through here, so I made that bright, white, and beautiful, but just look at how gorgeous those stairs are. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of that because it's so pretty. Um, and, uh, you know, there you go. So, best of luck out there. Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Thank you very much for doing what you do for all of us uh, who have been using chlorine for years, decades. Um, I started doing this back in the early 90s and you know that's all we used to use for everything and um you know i'm glad that the industry is evolving and changing and new products are out there to save customers and to produce results that are really uh exciting you know what i mean as opposed to you know just your normal standard driftwood bleached out look which you know has always been acceptable in the past but boy it really wreaks havoc four, seven years down the road on those boards and the people end up inevitably having to replace their deck. So uh, I like to keep things, uh, you know, really good for the customer. That way they call me back year after year after year. Take care everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning, Dynamite Service with explosive results.